today's video, I'm gonna share with you five things that can transform any relationship, whether it's intimate, with your children, with your partner at work, five things that can transform any relationship. My name is Elon Ferdman. I've been a speaker, mentor, and coach for the last 15 plus years. I run a company called Satori Prime. And recently, I had an experience with my wife that when I shared it publicly, by the way, I'll share the longer video of, if you wanna hear the entire story in the comment box below. But I today just wanna cover the five main things that can revolutionize any relationship. So the first step is, whenever you're in a fight or something happened inside of a relationship, what do we do? We get defensive, we get righteous, we get upset, we get angry, we get frustrated, right? All of these emotions. And these are all perfect, natural emotions. There's nothing wrong. You're, you're not doing anything wrong. You're just having a human response, a human reaction. So the first thing to realize is to always bring yourself back to the commitment. What are you committed to inside of that relationship? And you'll quickly see that what you're committed to is not in alignment with the actions that you are currently taking in that relationship. So for example, for me and my wife, we've been married for 11 and a half years. And what I realized when we got into this fight was that I'm committed to love, intimacy, and connection with my wife. Now in the moment when I was frustrated, getting defensive, angry, all of it, I was not in alignment to that commitment. So I reminded myself of what it is that I'm actually committed to. That was step one. Step two is I remembered that I could either be right or I can be in love. I cannot be both. I will say it again. You can either be right or you can be in love. You can't be both. And I was choosing at the moment to be right versus to be standing in my commitment of intimacy, love, and connection. And when I realized that, I could bring myself back to choose into standing in my commitment. The third piece, and this is a right or downer, this is so important to understand in relationships. Everyone's point of view is 100% valid. I'm gonna say that again. Everyone's point of view is 100% valid, meaning you don't need to logically understand why that person sees the way they do or feels the way they do. Every one of us is programmed differently. What you can bring yourself to understand is that that person's point of view, that person's experience in that moment is and was 100% valid. That'll create some ease in your system. Now the fourth piece is bringing compassion. Now that you can get, okay, that person's experience is 100% valid, I don't need to understand it, and I can actually step into their shoes, bring compassion, and see what that experience was like for them. You can actually feel how angry or frustrated or disappointed that person was, not from your perspective, all for their perspective. And the fifth piece is, taking 100% responsibility. See, a lot of the times we get into a fight and we'll even do some work and we'll say, you know what, I'm gonna do 90% of it, but they gotta give me something. They gotta show me 10% or I'll do 95 and they'll do five or 99, but just give me something. It's not up to them. If you truly are committed to what you say you're committed, then you could take 100% responsibility and leave them with zero. And that would naturally lead you into, I guess, let's call it a bonus number six, an action. Because having all these insights and seeing all of these and having all these aha moments doesn't mean anything until you take action. And that action is having a clear communication with your loved one, with your partner, with your children about what you saw, what you are taking responsibility for, how you realize that your actions or inactions created a certain response in that person and you're not committed to that person having that response. I do this with my five-year-old daughter, I do this with my seven-year-old son, and I most certainly do this with my wife. It's not a one and done thing. You are constantly evolving, your spouse is constantly evolving, your kids are constantly evolving, and everyone in your life are constantly evolving. So again, to recap, 
First things first, commitment. What are you committed inside of that relationship? Second thing, you could be right or you can be in love. You could be right or you could be standing in that commitment. Third, really important, everyone's experience is 100% valid to them. Four, bring compassion. See that experience through their eyes and see if you can feel exactly what they're feeling. And five, take 100% responsibility for every relationship in your life and your relationships will never be the same. And the bonus, go take action. Once you do those five steps, take that action. Let me know if this resonates with you or what you took away from this video in the comment box below. And again, look in the description if you want to hear the entire story of the entire fight I had with my wife and all the insights I had, I will leave the link in there. It was amazing. And with that, like this video. If it resonated with you, share it with friends and definitely subscribe to our Satori Prime channel as we share this kind of wisdom every single week. Until we see you again, have an amazing day, my friend.